Need a shot, she need to get a piece of it. Alright, throw it back and I do a shake face, this face. Fuck the alcohol taste, I'm getting out of place. It's a race, the pound chase. So, all of you might have heard that a lion was shot with a crossbow recently at a traffic stop for a, for a broken taillight. No, that's, that, that's not true. They're blaming it on a dentist from Minnesota. I, I blame Obamacare. <laughs> now, you might have noticed that Cecil, who nobody heard of before, is all of a sudden world famous. Well, you know, fading celebrities notice this right away. So Lady Gaga dressed up as a lion, and Paris Hilton has been following her with a crossbow. <laughs> And they beat out Madonna and Suzanne Summers by an hour and 32 minutes. <laughs> you know, white privilege will only get you so far. And obviously it hit its limits there. But, but I should talk. You know, I'm older, I'm white, I live in an affluent neighborhood. I have so much white privilege that when the cops stop me, they give me a latte. <laughs> and a croissant. <laughs> Are there any young men out here? You see, I, I've been married 28 years. We, we, we had our 28th just this last month. And, and I've got some advice for you guys out there. This is catching. There we go. So, the thing is, when you're married a long time, there are some wonderful things that you get out of it. Love, friendship, sex, every Sunday morning from 9 to 11. <laughs> and most of all, you learn the trick for staying married for a very long time. And, and this, is, this is something that I'm going to pass on to the young men here. Now listen, young men, to my refrain, I'm about to save you a world of pain. When your woman gets mad, you gotta act a certain way, because if she really goes off, it's gonna ruin your day. There's no need to worry, there's nothing to fear. Just stick to the script and say, yes, dear. Don't let your ego get control, because it's gonna bruise when you argue with the woman. You are always gonna lose. You didn't win the discussion, and you didn't win a prize, so just give it up and apologize. Just say you're sorry, you don't have to know why. Maybe if you're lucky, she won't break down and cry. What I strongly recommend is that you take all the blame. Because what you really want to do is get back to the game. It doesn't matter what you say because it's all going south. You lost before you even opened your mouth. <laughs> that brilliant reply that you thought was so clever will basically end your sex life forever. <laughs> so just shut the fuck up and let her go on a tear. No one ever said life was going to be fair. The woman that you love is going to have her way and either figure it out or you're going to pay. Allow me to explain. This won't take long. You're a man. She's a woman. You're always wrong. <laughs> Thank you. So I also, I had a dinner with my family recently. You know, the, the whole family thing with father and whatnot. How many of you love family dinner with your relatives? <laughs> okay, not very many hands there. You know, I have to admit, I'm, I'm the same way with family dinners. It's, it's always the same. Hello, Caltrain! Yeah, good to see you too. So everybody knows about the types of family dinners that we all have to deal with, right? There's the silent family dinner where the knives and forks slowly tap out reproachment and silent judgment. And then there's the fun family dinner. That's like Bigfoot. Everybody's heard of it, but nobody can prove that they actually exist. And then there's my family dinner. See, dinner with my father and my brothers takes a toll. With just a couple beers, you can get them on a roll. They always have opinions on everything around, and they're loud enough to drown out every other sound. 
They act like go-hards and skeptics and opinionated trolls. And there's nothing I can do, because that's how my family rolls. It might be global warming. It might be budget woes. You can bet they have an answer that they're going to propose. <laughs> the topic that they choose doesn't really matter, as long as they can dominate the dinner table chatter. My bro is talking science, and no one thinks it strange that he has amazing knowledge of the cause of climate change. An entire science field can consume a whole career. So how exactly did he learn this from his job as a cashier? <laughs> they act like blowhards and skeptics and opinionated trolls, and there's nothing I can do, because that's how my family rolls. Now suddenly they're experts on European trade, and my tolerance for bullshit is so completely frayed. Is the meal over yet, and has the check been signed? If this keeps up, I swear to God, I'm going to lose my mind. Thank you. So when I'm done with the family dinner, I go home to my cats. Anybody here have cats? What? Well, where are all the cat people here? Come on, there's a few here. There should be more cat people. You see, cat people, most of them are sane. They have one or two cats. This is what you call a one cat roller family. Because they got the one roller that they keep in the drawer to get the fur off, right? Then you have people that get like three or four cats. Now, these people, they're still kind of in the same territory, but you know, there's lots of cat hair. And yet people, they get up like seven or eight cats. They're crazy. Now at that point, of course, what you do is you get a four by eight sheet of sticky and you roll on it. <laughs> that is way too much cat fur. So that's, you know, but, but when you have seven or eight cats, you're crazy. We have 11. <laughs> yes. And let me tell you one thing that you learn about cats is first of all, when they roll over on their side, they're not looking for cuddles. This is a Terminator bringing all of its weapons online. <laughs> and the other thing is, nothing throws up like a cat. No animal throws up like a cat. You can have a dog and they're like, oh, I'm gonna go in a corner. I'm not feeling good. Can I have a cookie when I'm done? But cats, you know, they, they come out into the middle of the room, right? And you can almost see they have like the gold fang and the, the, you know, the backwards baseball cap. You know, they're, they're ready to go. Man. And they're just like, whoa, I'm going to throw up here. Here we go. Yeah. Gather around my human friend. You're about to see my natural cleanse. All that fur that I look, all that fur that I look so clean is stuck in my stomach and it's making me green. I ate some grass from our front lawn because it's time to do the feline technicolor yawn. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. Ah, ah. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. Ah, ah. I be nimble, I be quick, I find the perfect place to be sick. I'll bob and weave and dodge aside, cause I ain't gonna let you throw me outside. I ain't no dainty golden retriever, when I upchuck it looks like a seizure. That's why I'm here to sing this song, it's time to do the feline. Technicolor yawn, boom chicka boom chicka boom, ah, ah. boom chicka boom chicka boom, ah, ah. I gotta rough it out, I gotta blow spew, I gotta hack up a hairball's what I gotta do. I found a place, cause I'm feeling that tug, here it comes. 